Hey guys, how are we doing? So it's Crypto Insight UK here. Um, just to start, as you can see, price is still pretty low. Um, I understand the market sentiment's low. I get it. Um, crypto's a waiting game, guys. If you want to be making some money in this space, you've got to be more patient than everybody else, essentially. Uh, that's the same as any any trade in there, I guess. Um, you've got to out outperform or outweigh everybody else you're trading against. That It's only... Majority of people don't win in trading. It's it's the minority that do. But with that being said, it's the 16th of July at 9:39 a.m. Uh, let's get into let's get into the charts. I've got a few things I want to talk about today. Um, we'll get into grayscale, uh, the GBTC uh, unlocking that a lot of people are talking about. We can have a quick touch into the William Hinman deposition that um, got the green light last night. Um, or last night in the UK. I don't know what time that was in the US. I think it was 3 p.m. Um, but yeah, let's just get have a quick look at the TA. So give you some ideas of what I'm looking at. This is Bitcoin on the daily. We've kind of got this. Well, it'd actually be a bear flag because um, a pennant like this would normally mean a continuation pattern. So we've had the drop from the high, we've come down into this pennant, um, we're forming this pennant here. Uh, and we, should we drop out the bottom of this? We could be looking into that sort of 22,000 range. But <coughs> Bitcoin never really does what you think it should do. It's one thing that I've been trying to tell everybody. I don't feel like we are, still don't feel like we are in a bear market yet. Um, I could tell you a few reasons as to why I, just, I can justify that opinion. Is should we have been in a bear market from here? If we were in a bear market... Um, we would have had at least a retracement rally every single time in the history of Bitcoin that it has come down to any level or, or started a bear market. We always have a retracement to the 702 uh, Fibonacci retracement level. So let's take this from here to here. So that's the previous top and that's the current bottom. Uh, so the peak and the trough of where we are. Before we continue and uh, let me share, explain the levels first. So the 702 would be back up to here. We back back up to 54,000, or if you take it from the top of the previous, of the of the current drop, sorry, um, then we could be back up to the 50 to 54,000 range. Is where I'm looking for a retracement rally. This is one of the reasons why I think we are not yet in a bear market because nothing ever just comes down and nothing ever just goes up in a straight line. So yeah, we've come down. You can see that. There's, there will always be a retracement rally of some kind, or we just push back out of the zone. So they're the two things that I'm looking for. Could we come down further? Yes. But do I think that means we're in a, in a prolonged bear market for three years? No, because of the reason, of that reason that I've just said there. Another few reasons are, we are in a prolonged, we are in prolonged cycles at the minute. So whenever there's been um, a bull market, which is technically what, what we've been in, um, they have become longer every single cycle. So the 2013 cycle um, was shorter than the 2017, and the 2017 uh, should be shorter than this 2021 cycle. So we are looking for an extended cycle, and so far this hasn't even been as long as the 2017 cycle uh, in terms of duration. So there's another reason for you. And the other thing for me is, the market, the market's different. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for a bear market because everyone is now buying crypto. All the all the big institutions are buying crypto. Um, we're going to go into this grayscale thing in a minute. I'm trying not because that's in the back of my head, and I'm just trying not to think about that when I'm talking. Big institutions are buying crypto. Banks are buying crypto. Hedge funds are buying crypto. We've got countries having Bitcoin as their global reserve, or not global reserve currency, as legal tender. It's There's too much going on for this to just crash down for me at the minute. Okay, so I have a little look at the TA and then I'll get a bit more back into that. So yes, it's descending. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, this would be a bear flag because uh, this descending triangle, triangle pattern will give us a 22,000 uh, breakdown target if we break down from this point 
And if we broke up, <coughs> it would give us the 42,000 reclaim the moving averages target. Okay, so let's see when this would end. It would end on about the 1st of August. Well, let's have let's take this into the grayscale right now then. So what have we got happening? As easily as sentiment can flip in the market uh, to a negative, like it did when we were in this area and this area, this was Elon Musk Saturday Night Live, and this was Tesla uh, saying they were no longer going to be um, no longer going to be accepting Bitcoin, potentially selling it. So boom, that sentiment change, sentiment change, bang, down we come. Okay, it can change just as easily the opposite way. So this week we've had negative negative media, we've got a massive unlock coming uh, from grayscale of forty thousand uh, Bitcoin or worth of Bitcoin shares is the important part. But, 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 this is a big but. And this comes from uh, inspiration from Blockchain Backer. He was talking about this last night. So these grayscale shares are not actually um, Bitcoin at all. They're for big institutions or accredited investors. And, they, and this is the grayscale GBTC uh, Bitcoin Trust shares here. And they actually pay a premium um, on any Bitcoin that they buy, so slightly higher than the market when they were buying it. So what we really want to look at is when, so it, the grayscale shares are unlocked every six months. So six months ago, that will be people buying about 40,000 Bitcoin shares, and where would that have been in this uh, pre this current bull cycle? That was in this zone here. So if we look at the date today, we're at the 14th, 16th of July. If we look at the date here, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 15th, 15th of Jan to the 20th of Jan. So we're in this in this area here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I just can't, I can't highlight it because I haven't got the right tool on. But yeah, this zone here from there to there. So all this here, the lowest point would have been there on the 8th of January, but we've already unlocked that one. So we are looking in, into these candles here. And as you can see with the current price action, we're already down at $25 and this was up at $39. So that's a loss of like 30% um, on whatever they bought back in this area. So do we think that these big institutions are going to come out and lock their 40,000 shares today and dump them at a 30% loss to what they were buying in there? I personally don't believe that's the case. And I can't find the article that he referred to specifically. This is blockchain background talking about. But he specifically said that ARK investors were one of the people who bought in some grayscale trust, some grayscale Bitcoin trust in this area. So he also said, so it's funny that that happens because we then have this, the B word, which is Jack, Jack Dorsey or Darcy, I've forgotten his name, uh, speaking to Elon Musk. Um, about Bitcoin on the 21st of July, which will be in five days' time. And do you know who else is going to be talking to there? Kathy Wood from ARK Investment. So, would that not be a perfect... Oh, just punch my mic, sorry guys. Would that not be a perfect time for a flip in the narrative for Bitcoin? We have this market sentiment, and we've had our biggest unlock, or one of our biggest unlocks already. In fact... Like the blockchain backer said in his video, the biggest unlocks were in June, um, which were here. So, all this negativity and negative sentiment is bringing the market down. That's absolutely correct. Do I think that's Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust at all? No, I think that's retail investors being scared of Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust because that's the narrative they've been told. But I also think that everyone who actually knows about the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust before the retail investors already understands that this was going to happen and this has already been priced into the market just like my guy blockchain backer was talking about so what do we think is going to happen from here we've already had our, our lowest point of a uh, 28,000 and we went down to 30k too so do I think we're going to be going any lower than that no do I know for sure also no if we break out the bottom of this descending wedge we we could be looking at that 22,000 price target. However, we've one other or two other things to mention before I'd say that actually, and we've got this still waiting for this RSI 
uh, divergence to play out. Um, it has, so it's te tested it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, so many times. We just need a bit of volume to come through and break out of this zone. So where could that come from? Could that come from the B word, which is in five days time? Uh, can we hold this level for five more days? Who knows, guys? The weekend is normally a choppy time for crypto. We all know that. Um, so it's anyone's guess at the minute. But the main thing for me is, and this is what I've always said. This is what I said. If you remember my videos when um, Elon Musk was going on Saturday Night Live and the whole sentiment of the market was Doge is going to a dollar. Elon Musk is going to say something that's on Saturday Night Live is going to take Doge to a dollar. And I said, it's too easy. It isn't going to happen. This is the same, but the opposite way around for me. People were saying, oh, Bitcoin's coming down to 20K. All the technicals show that it is. The sentiment in the market is absolute rock bottom. It's too easy. It's too easy. Crypto doesn't do easy. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I wasn't wrong then. The tapered off volume now, we're waiting for a resurgence, in my opinion. It's way too easy to just be like, oh yeah, we're going to fall out the bottom and just keep keep coming down. There's been no resurgence rally. We've got these extra catalysts, potentially, for Bitcoin. So let's just keep our eyes on it and see what's going to happen going forwards. So that being said, let's have a look at Ethereum. I've just drawn on some, highlighted some key levels of um support and resistance could ethereum come down and touch the 16 uh, 98 level again yes it could uh if it breaks above the 200 day moving average again on the daily uh, i think there's some resistance here but then again the next resistance level would be double resistance on the 2245 as it's a fib level but also the 50 day will probably have come down um, and be on that level at the same time uh, by then <coughs> So we've also got XRP, which I'm not going to lie, is almost flatlining now. Like I've never seen a crypto flatline quite like this. So we are, we are just almost going flat. And if that happens, we are just coiling up, coiling up, coiling up, ready for an explosion that way or downwards, of course. But I just, as as I said, I'm still bullish. Um, if you're not, that's fine. Uh, I understand. I understand all the reasons why people may be bearish in this market. But personally, I'm still a believer. No, it's not even that. It's just more that I just think it's too easy to say that it's going down that I don't think it will. And whether that's good enough logic or not, I've showed you a few reasons why I think that it won't go down. Um, but we've got the total altcoin, we've got the total crypto market cap. Uh, around one that one trillion two hundred billion, and I laugh at that, like I just scoffed at that then. Um, but if you think back to when we were in November of last year, we we're at five hundred billion, and I thought, wow, it'd be amazing if we if we hit one trillion, and now we're at one point two seven, and I'm scoffing at it. But that's only because uh, we've actually topped out at two point five trillion. So there's a lot of money ready to come back into the market. It's just when the powers that be decide that it's time for this to happen. And the total altcoin market cap looks to be losing the 200-day moving average today. Um, do I think we're going to see anything drastic for the next few days? No. Do I think we could come down 3-4% in the market? Yes. Um, but I could. I think we'll just do what we've been doing. The volume's low. We're waiting for something to happen one way or another. What could that be? So we've got the Elizabeth Warren, the Senate, who wrote to the SEC, who's looking for some regulation help for the 28th. We've got William Hinman for XRP being deposed potentially next week. And um, they've got a week to work it out internally uh, between Ripple and the SEC. And then the deposition will go ahead. And that is something that could drag the market up. Uh, if they win that case, it's positive for the whole market. It means that a lot of the altcoins will, will then not have the worry of, be, of, of the SEC coming after them. So... There's a lot of things that could potentially go well for crypto. And as I said, the narrative can change just as fast as it changed to the negative. So definitely scary times. Like it's not nice watching your portfolio come down. But at the same time, it's not all doom and gloom for me. It's not all doom and gloom. So 
yeah, just stay frosty, guys. Uh, have a great weekend and catch me on TikTok. I'll probably do a live later and I'll speak to you all on Monday. I hope I didn't ram- ramble on too much there. Just remember, guys, there's still quite a lot of issues going on with Binance and other exchanges. So get yourself onto a hardware wallet. I do have links in my description for uh, hardware wallets if anyone's interested in them. Um, I also do paid one-to-one services and that sort of thing. So, yeah, let me know about anything you might want any help with. Uh, Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.